It was down to two choices. It was either backbend tutorial or back walkover tutorial. I decided to do the backbend first. Let's get started. First, we are going to begin to stretch our backs. Really focus on stretching the arch in your back because that will be key to your back bend. I incorporated a few yoga poses because recently I've been trying yoga and it's had a huge impact on my flexibility and mindset. Here's a little bridge routine I like to do. Lastly, I want you to do 15 supermans and hold the last one for 10 seconds or as long as you can. Your goal is to bring your chest and your legs up as high as you can each time. Alright, next step. We're going to walk our hands up and down a wall to get a feel for what the back bend is like. Keep practicing it until you feel comfortable with these motions. Now, find a raised platform and do your back bend from there. Once it becomes easier, you can transfer to a shorter platform. Also, make sure your feet aren't too close together. The more spread apart, the easier. I highly recommend having someone spot you. I think spotting is one of the most helpful things to getting your back bend. I would first start with someone helping you with both hands. Then, when you feel more comfortable, have them only use one hand. Time for the back bend. I would suggest having a pillow under your head or even a soft surface in case you fall. You're going to arch your back and push your hips forward. When I do my back bend, I really depend on using the arch in my back to lower down. You can even lower down sideways if that helps you in the beginning, but don't make that into a habit. When you're trying to come up from your back bend, sway in and out towards your body. And once you have momentum, as you sway in, come up. When I come up, I really depend on the arch in my back, like I emphasized before. To get your back bend, it is also getting over the fear of going backwards. In the beginning, I was scared too, but then I thought, if I don't do it now, then when will I ever do it? Just like I say in all of my videos, practice is key. Stay consistent and have patience.